Hello. Morning. We are snorkeling. Peggy's going to go into kids club. Yeah. So we can go snorkeling without the fight of masks filling, trying to make drowning children. Is Peggy. That? Well, she didn't nearly drown. No, she, she was, didn't. She was the whole time. Uh, but she last time was just really stressed. And nothing. So we're going to go on our own <laughs> and have a yeah. good time. Um, so you can do some free diving mm -hmm. and I can just float on the top like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a boy that bobs in the water, not a bob like a boy. Buoy. Like a buoy a or buoy. a boy. Where it depends where you're from. A yeah. boy. Um, yeah, and then we've got lunch at new. Um, so that'll be a nice experience because we've done it before in the evening, but now we can do it in the daytime. So mm -hmm. hopefully we'll see some fish floating around in the harbour a bit. Yep, that'll be nice. We've got sunset fishing. Oh yeah, sunset fishing. That's going to be really exciting. And then apparently yep. if you catch something, you can cook it. Don't know. We'll find out. We'll let Do you know. I get to go? Yep. Yeah. You're coming. Is that okay? <laughs> let me just turn around for that reaction. How are you feeling about sunset fishing? Oh, excuse our messy chair. This is the chair of piled clothes when you've... Post-worn. Post-worn. Go on. <laughs> sunset fishing? <laughs> are you excited for it? Yeah. What are you excited for? If I catch a fish. Hopefully you will. Not a tiger fish. Not a tiger fish? <laughs> Do you mean a tiger shark? Yeah. No. <laughs> you catch a tiger shark. You'll not catch them in these channels. This could also be part of the reason why Peggy doesn't want to go snorkeling. <laughs> She's terrified of getting eaten. But Weird. I don't know where it comes from. Yeah. Too much Discovery Channel. Yeah, she does watch a lot of nature and things. Um, anyway, we'll leave it there okay. before we go snorkeling and freak ourselves out. Um, and we'll take you along for the ride. Yeah. showered off and uh, we saw quite a bit obviously um, not all of it will be captured properly but we did try to capture as much as we could Matt saw some lobsters I did so now we're going for lunch at new we've been for a couple of drinks at the bar and had a bit of a sunbathe and a bit of a swim so Peggy's kind of post swim pool drenched um, <laughs> and we're gonna go and eat some seafood This is 
canoe here on the side and then you've got the spa on that side. So they're right opposite each other, nice and easy to find. I think I'm going to take a bet with myself that Matt's going to go for tuna again because he enjoyed the tuna so much last time. But who knows? They're both currently running on the wood because it, the wood's so hot. And they didn't, they didn't choose the footwear option. So that's more for them. They'll learn. They'll learn one day. One day. I don't even know where they've gone now. They've actually disappeared. to work because my phone's not scanning the QR so all of the menus are on a QR um, code but my phone has decided it's not going to work so Matt's the technical one who's trying to fix it for me. I got it. Because I, are you working it? Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so on the menu the starters you've got quite a good choice. Uh, last time we all had the baked lobster, this time we might try something different just for kind of showing yeah, what's available. So, yeah. And then um, there's quite a lot going on for the seconds or your main course and then the dessert as well. Um, last time we had the Belgian, char Belgian dark chocolate mousse, me and Peggy did. I'm doing a beer before you. Oh lovely, thank you. And I've got wine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and so I think this time I'm probably just going to go for an ice cream, if I'm honest. Ice cream! Yeah, I might just have... There's a couple more items, because the steamed mussels weren't on the other day, so I may well go steamed mussels. Mm. And then I'm not sure, because the yellowfin tuna steak was unbelievable. <laughs> but I might go seafood platter. Oh. All decisions. Mm. All the decisions. Mm. So Peggy, what's your drink? Are you going to open the straw and taste it and see what people think? Or do you want to cheers first? What do you want to do? Cheers. Okay. Cheers. 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 Happy holiday. Happy holiday. <laughs> that bottle of water is just there. No. Pina. Pina. Colada. Colada. Nice. Smells like pineapple. It does smell like it's probably coconut pineapple. The straws are all paper, so if you've got an aversion to paper straws, bring your own. Yeah. Fine, fine. How is it? It's good. It's delicious, I bet. That is basically one of my favourites. Yummy. Although I do like a margarita. How's yeah, yours? I've been, um, Taken by the IPA, it's a real citrusy IPA, it's nice. And it is beer, isn't it? Beer. Beer. Beer IPA. Nice. I'm gonna do a white and a blonde and an IPA. And <laughs> all three of these are off menu. All included, but the menu is um, updated quite regularly, so there's often stuff that isn't on the menu. Yeah. And if you've got a cocktail that you like that isn't on the menu, they'll make it for you. It's incredible. Yeah. We're happy here. Mm. I'm satisfied with my care. <laughs> oh, that looks great! Yeah. Oh, I love mussels so bad. <laughs> we... Of the food type, not of the Mr. Muscle type. <laughs> oh, Peggy's is coming! Look at that! Wow, Peggy. How good does that look? <gasps> wow! Yummy! Awesome! She will need a soup spoon to eat it though. Oh yeah, 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 you need a spoon. Where's your spoon? Oh, we need a spoon. <laughs> so some of my mussels were a bit gritty. Well, very gritty. Mats were a little bit. 
Um, and that's not their fault, that's basically the supplier, I guess, not purging them. Peggy's, however, is amazing. <laughs> Tastes great, the scallops were cooked to perfection. It was... The squid's delicious. Spectacular. Yeah. She's nailed her starter. <laughs> It's like a tomato, tomato based soup, scallops, uh, clams, and squid. You know when you just choose wrong and your daughter chooses right? That's today. Okay. Totally forgot to film the mains, but they were really good. Really good. <laughs> really, really good. Sorry, I look like an absolute heathen. Um, it's windy, um, so yeah. they can't all be perfect. So if you notice that the quality is slightly lower on the video, it's because the camera is now full. We've creamed one memory card already, so week one done. Apart from tonight. What are we do tonight? Fishing. We are going fishing. We're going fishing. If we, catch we're going to if we catch something, hopefully they will uh, cook it in the restaurant tomorrow. That'd be good, wouldn't it? I'm sure it will be. You just have to catch lots. Not a stingray. Let's not catch a stingray. No, we'll throw them back. Yeah. No, no sharks. No sharks. Oh, you didn't like your octopus then, did you? No. But you say no sharks, but how is when you get to feed the sharks? Uh, it's a really lovely resort. There's no complaints so far. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're, good. We're having a good time, aren't we? Yeah. I got a hand. Hello, Tati. It's a stingray. And this is from Kids Club, so we didn't show you this yesterday. This is what she had done at Kids Club. Let me hand. Can you see it? It's oh, it's really, it's faded a bit, but it's really pretty. She's had it all done up on fingers. That's it's a faded shark. Lot, That's a shark. I think they call it Mahindi rather than henna. We call it henna because it's Western. In India, we'd call it Mahindi, I think. We will Google it and find out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in the meantime, we'll try and Google it and find out. But I, I, I think the lady's name was Mahindi. Mahindi. So our pudding's quite self-explanatory. It's your classic no, no, Neapolitana. How's yours, Matt? I've got a raspberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. I just tried the outside, so we've got a little bit of raspberry coulis. Which does exactly what it does, <laughs> says on your eyes. I'm not sure what the lemon, le not sure what the lemon bit is. I think that's lemon. Super sharp. Or bang in the middle. <laughs> is it like a cake inside? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Cheesecake. Oh, cool. I'm going to work half that. I'm not going to go all crazy and try and munch it all on camera. Is it good? Ham bag looks good. What you got? Uh, it looks like a shark, but it's not, it's a jack. It's a big jack. Yes. If you throw your stick up one side, where does it go? Back the other way. Under the bridge. And you see who wins. You mean the first person under the bridge? The per first person's stick. You mean like the first person's stick goes in? Uh, no, races to the other side of the bridge. And do you know where that started? Where? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Yes. Christopher Robin. Christopher Robin. I thought that was from stick. No. <laughs> That's why it's called Pooh Sticks. Pooh? Pooh. As in Winnie the Pooh. Have we not educated our child? I don't think we have enough. Oh God. <laughs> What's Winnie the or Pooh? Rather, oh gosh. <laughs> What's Winnie the Pooh? The family that travelled to Disney World most years. Yeah, every, and, every year. And we get... What's, What's Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh? Pooh? You've been on Winnie the Pooh ride. It had, the, it had the honey wall. 
Winnie the Pooh is the little yellow bear that wears the red t shirt. What do you mean? I guess his head's stuck naked? in the honey pot. No, he's no. naked. He wears a red t shirt and he goes, Oh, oh bother. <laughs> and there's rabbit and owl and eeyore and piglet. Where's piglet? And Kanga and Roo. You know who Piglet is. I think you should make it up now because there's no way. There's no way we haven't educated our child on the magic of Disney. There's literally no way. Daddy? Yes? What does Piglet mean? We've just been through this, Peggy. You're just trying to wind me up. Because when you know your child's playing the system. <laughs> the system of mums and dads. Hey guys, so it's the evening. We are just about to head out for our fishing, sunset fishing trip. Is that right, Peggy? Yeah. Yeah, so sunset fishing trip. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. And we are on our way. Hold it over the top. So hold it over the top like that. And then just let your hand let it go out. I don't think we've got any. Doesn't that feel like you've got anything? It did. Shark's taking it. Yeah, mate's gone. Shark's gone. Can we try? Hang on, just watch yourself, watch yourself, watch yourself. Is the hook still there? The hook's still there, yeah, but the bait's gone. There's a shark there. Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Peggy helped Daddy. We, we caught a fish, didn't we? We did catch a fish. I Not... held a fish. You did hold a fish at the end. Um, we did catch a... A remora. A remora. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's quite a big fish. It was nice. Uh, but you got to, to touch it and feel how it felt. And, yeah. But they're not apparently good for eating or something like that. Because so. they're filter feeders, so they filter off the rubbish of other fish. So mm -hmm. They clean the sharks or something. A lot of the bait went missing. Yeah. Because the sharks were getting it straight off the hook. Uh, but it was good. We'd love to do it again. Yeah, I would actually, yeah. It's um, fine. But there's only one per time, so... Yeah, you only get one included. So we've done ours, but it was good. It was really good fun. Yeah. And now we're contemplating whether to purchase a snorkeling trip to go and see sea turtles. turtles. It's more than we'd probably pay. So it's like, that is that, it's that dilemma, that moral dilemma of, yeah. do we do it? Is it a once in a lifetime? $75 per person. Plus tax, plus, plus tax, tip. Plus plus 10% gratuity. So it's 15% yeah. tax, 10% gratuity on top. Um, twelve percent. Twelve percent. Sorry, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, twelve percent tax. Um, and which isn't a lot, but it's only half, half an hour. Half an hour. And we have a child that is not fond of snorkeling in the ocean at the moment. So we're currently in that do we don't we yeah. moment. Don't want to force her into anything. However, that being said, she is very fond of kids club. So much for in there and do it ourselves. <laughs> We're back at the room and they, they only give us one key um, so we've we asked for a second and then put the one key in the air conditioning slot so the air conditioners always go in because um, it's so hot um, but then we've lost the second key so we're now on <laughs> I don't know how we've lost the second key <laughs> um, and so we're using the back door <laughs> not the front door just want to show what happens like the TV's on, and he's literally just stood in the centre of the room. I, I will have you know, I came to open the front door because I've lost the key, and you weren't stood there, so not my fault. I just turned around as you walked in, startled and afraid. Some Staring at the TV like a professional TV watcher. Stop looking at me every time I've got my gut out. I need you to just warn me. Strike a pose. <laughs> There's nothing in the way. <laughs> so Peggy and Matt are just washing off all of the fish. Slime. Yuck. Um, all of the, the fish juice. Just the disgustingness of themselves. Um, and I am just waiting for them and then we're going to go for dinner at the buffet and then probably get another night. We're really tired because we were up super early snorkeling this morning. So I'm going to sign off here and we will catch you on the next one.